The three stain samples I tested from left to right are English Chestnut, Honey, and Provincial. Honestly, they're all beautiful, but ultimately I decided on Provincial because it's such a classic stain color. I think it's important to mention that my plan all along was to use a water-based stain with the biggest reason being the low odor. We're staying in our house while we refinish our floors, so this was a really important benefit to us. However, I tested a couple samples and I wasn't really loving the look. As I first started applying it, it looked beautiful, but then once I wiped off the excess and looked at it from multiple angles, the colors had a green undertone and just seemed sort of dull. You can see in this comparison how much richer the oil-based stain colors look. Hey everyone, Alicia and Dan here from Our Aesthetic Abode. This is part two of us refinishing our floors. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. So in part one, we sanded down our floors and at the end I had you guys vote on different stain colors. We decided to go with Provincial. It's a classic, timeless stain. We're so excited, but before we can get to the point of staining, I need to sand up all of the sample spots that I tested. And then I'm gonna do one final sanding coat with 120 grit sandpaper on a pole sander. So after we do that, we've gotta make sure we clean up the dust really well before we put that stain down but we're excited and nervous. I feel like it's gonna be very kind of satisfying. All right. Wish us luck. So my first mistake was testing all of the stain samples when we returned our drum sander already. So they took forever for me to sand them all down and that probably set us back like an hour. Hour, hour and a half. So that's my advice to you is to test your stains while you have a drum sander. While Alicia was sanding, I was putting up plastic sheeting all over the house. Well, mainly in parts where the fumes couldn't get up the stairs. We definitely don't recommend staying inside the house when you're doing the staining just because of how bad the smell is. But if you have to, the plastic sheeting will definitely help. Before staining, there's just one final sanding coat. We take a pole sander, attach 120 grit sandpaper to it, and then go over the floor one last time. This will give us a nice smooth finish. Final step is to just get rid of any dust. So for this part, we got these huge tack cloths and we doubled them up and just kind of um, used rubber bands and attached them to a really large broom. So I ran this over the floors twice. You also wanna make sure that you open windows, use fans and set them up so that the air is blowing out of the windows. And then make sure you also get really good, um, strong filters for your masks that actually block those toxic fumes. We can link the ones that we use in the description below. While I was researching, I stumbled upon a professional floor refinisher here on YouTube and basically watched all of his videos and used his tutorials as a guide. To apply this stain, we used a synthetic floor applicator, which we first dipped into mineral spirits. And then for wiping up the excess stain, we actually used a sponge mop, which I thought was a really cool method because you don't have to get on your hands and knees. You just want to make sure that you dip that in your stain first and then wring it out so that it doesn't take off too much. I don't know about you, but I find it so satisfying to watch that stain go down. One really nice thing about working with an oil-based stain is it has a longer dry time, which allows you more time to work with it, making it more forgiving than water-based stain. Even still, you'll want to work in small sections so you're able to reach when you're wiping off the excess.
After the first room, Alicia and I really got into a rhythm. She would apply the stain, then I would come in after with the sponge mop. Around the edges, we used a brush to smooth out the stain that built up. Now you do have to have a plan when you're staining your floors. It's best to start in the corner that's furthest from the door. So we started in our dining room and then did our sunroom and we finished in our living room, which is in the middle of our first floor. We knew we would have to stay upstairs until late morning to allow the stains to dry. So I'm sure you're wondering where we went wrong. I feel like to watch all of our videos of us staining the floors, I don't know, I think we did a great well, job. Pretty good, yeah. We felt good about it. The stain was looking beautiful. And we went to bed that night and then... We woke up the next morning and came downstairs and it was quite the opposite. It was not dry, it was very wet. And we just didn't know what we did wrong. It was obvious that we didn't wipe off enough of the excess stain because there was just stain sitting on top of the wood still that just didn't penetrate in. Do we feel like that sponge mop method of wiping up the excess was a good method? I don't believe it was because it was clear that the sponge just wasn't pulling up, up enough of the stain that we applied when a, a rag would have done a lot better. Like if we really ran um, a rag over each of the boards that we did, it would have took up a lot more stain and then we wouldn't have had so much stain sitting on top. The method we did just wasn't, I, I would say the best. I wouldn't do it again. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think I, I think the sponge mop method is actually really smart because it just saves your back and your knees. You're not like bending over to wipe up the excess, but I don't think it's as efficient at getting everything. I also think that we just could have done a better job of like running it over multiple times, wringing it out. Regardless, I yeah, I would say if we were to do it again, because I'm traumatized now, I would just wipe it up manually for sure. It would take longer. But we did it pretty quickly, so that was an advantage, but it's just, it, it wasn't the it best was, way of doing it. 
kind of a nightmare because we were we stained ourselves upstairs um so we, we yeah. had all of our windows open and it was like 40 degrees it was cold we did this in the winter and we left all the windows open to get the toxins the smell out but that didn't help because it was cold so the floors didn't dry at all and we were stuck upstairs we needed to get out of the house so we had to uh Broke into the house, got a ladder, and that was how we were coming and going for a day. Um, thinking, oh, maybe it'll dry, like, if we give it more time. But after, like, 36 hours, it still was feeling tacky to the touch. So it was that point where it was like, all right, what are our options from here? Like, obviously, we didn't want to have to, like, sand it down to, to bare wood again. Yeah, that was not happening. Yeah. After all the work we I put mean, in. Yeah, I can't imagine. But so I looked into it and there was two options. We could either apply more stain and then if you wipe off the excess, it'll grab whatever didn't penetrate the first time. Which I didn't really want to do this because the stain just smells so bad. The oil-based stain. Like this, the smell of the stain did not leave our house, I feel like, for two weeks. For a couple you, weeks. You could still smell it. So I didn't want to have to do that again. So the option two was to use mineral spirits. So that's what I spent two full days doing. I'm using Loba Easy Finish Water-Based Poly in a Satin Sheen. This product was recommended by the professional floor refinisher that I was following on YouTube. He recommended applying it with a half-inch nap roller brush and to run that under water before you actually start using it to apply the poly. You're actually going to pour the poly directly on the floor as opposed to putting it in the roller tray. The reason for this is because water-based poly dries so fast that eventually you're going to get little clumps of poly that have dried up in your roller tray. I am honestly not sure that this is going very well. I feel like the poly isn't adhering nicely to the floors and it could be because of all the mineral spirits that I use to clean up the excess stain. It seems like it's just not applying evenly and kind of just beating up or puddling up. Um, the first area I did back here, like already is feeling dry to the touch. It has like a milky look to it, I think. So I'm gonna wait for just this, this little section I just did to dry before I keep going. If this is wrong, I'm gonna have to fix it. I don't know. Here's how it looked after it dried. It definitely had an orange peel texture and that was from the roller brush because they also tested an area with a regular brush, which went on much smoother. But regardless of the method I used to apply the poly, it was drying cloudy. If you look up close, you can even see that there's white in the wood grain. So I happen to have another brand of floor poly on hand. So I decided I'll test that too and see if it also turns the wood grain white. And sure enough, it did. So this tells me it's likely the floors and not the product. 
but I will say I'm using a water-based poly over top an oil-based stain. With my experience DIYing, I know that this is possible if you allow the oil-based product enough time to fully dry. At this point, it had been 11 days since I applied the stain, so I really thought that that would be dry enough. I figured out what the issue was. So obviously we applied way too much stain and we knew we made that mistake, but that's actually what is leading to the issues that we're having with the poly. So our floors felt dry to the touch. And like I mentioned, it had been almost two weeks at this point. So I, I assumed that they would be dry, um, but it turns out that they weren't. So we have oak floors. And what I learned is that oak floors have really deep pores and when the stain was sitting on top of the wood for three days, the stain seeped really deep into those pores. So it felt dry to the touch on the surface, but really deep down, it still wasn't dry yet. What happened was I was putting on the poly and the gases that are releasing from the stain kind of get trapped and then it turns the poly white. Another reason I knew our floors weren't dry yet is because we were experiencing bleed back, which is when the stain resurfaces. This was happening in between our planks mostly, but also in some areas within the wood grain, we would see little drops of stain pop up. I learned so much from this project. I know it didn't quite go as planned and it's the hardest project I've ever done really. So now what? After this, we just decided to wait. That's really all you can do. You have to give them time to dry. Today has been 46 days since we applied the stain. So I said, you know what? Let me just test a small area with the poly and see if it's still turning white. And it wasn't. So I am just so, so happy. I'm still putting a pause on polying the floors because in the midst of all this, my husband got injured, so he can't help me move anything. What I'll do is poly room by room and just kind of like shift everything over. Luckily, it's water-based, so it's not going to smell. I'm just so happy. Right now, we're just being really careful to not spill anything on them and just keep them beautiful. We'll be revisiting the floors at a later date. My next YouTube video is going to be searching for the perfect white for our living room. I'm gonna share my whole process for that. I'm excited to do something other than these floors. <laughs> we would love it if you guys could like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the many, many projects we have coming your way. So thank you guys so much for being here and we will see you next time. Right, Gouda? Say bye. did all the testing of the poly and I even started to try and sand it down because I had that orange peel texture. Once I get back to finishing these floors I'm basically going to sand all of this down to the bare wood and restain it.
yawning and ready? Yes. Yeah. Ready? Please hold. The table is covered in water. Oh, uh, that's... It's gonna work. Great. It's fine. Okay. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone.